Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. We're going to a fall festival. Yeah, is that, that's what it's called because it's not like a, it's not an apple orchard. It's not. A, no. It's a pumpkin patch. There's. I don't think that like the pumpkins grow there. I think that they like import the pumpkins. Is that the right word? Yeah. Um, so it's a fall festival. Yeah, and they have apple cider donuts. We're going with Katie and her boyfriend Brian. Um, donuts are our main purpose, I think. Maybe a pumpkin. We might want to just get a pumpkin so that we don't have to go and get another pumpkin before, like after James gets here. Um, Florida's kind of weird with pumpkins, but we'll see. I'm lost right now because we're like we went to McDonald's to get coffee and french fries and now I don't know how to get to I-4 so we need to turn off the camera and go to Direct. Maps. <laughs> We are here! I remember the sign from last time. I love it. Be nice or leave. We kind of match. We do kind of match. <laughs> Miss Katie's here and Brian. We're on the trial for donuts and I think, I I think we're close. There we go. I found a big donut sign. We got a dozen donuts on the way. Blueberry lemonade. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want that one. <laughs> Take it! <laughs> I feel like I should wait. No, we can eat. They're, they're getting drinks. Just grab it. Sold! <laughs> oh my god. I just got back from Boston and we had apple cider donuts there too. Which like, these are still pretty legit. Yeah? Yeah. Good. For sure. I told Brian he'd have to say which one he liked better, but he said I was the pro, so. <laughs> these are so good though. Good. Got a little live music. We're like totally in the sun, but we're keeping an eye out for a table in the shade. We feel a little bit like peasants over here. All right, it's warm and we're out in the sun, but I got Big Storm Brewing Company Blueberry Lemon Tort Ale. They brewed this specifically for Southern Hills Farm in Claremont with fresh blueberries from this. She said it's really light and refreshing, so with the heat and my sleeves on, it should be good. Ooh, whoa. Oh, it's Katie's French fries. Ooh, That's behind a surprise the scenes, to all of Behind her. the scenes of Katie's vlog. Vlog section. <laughs> She's back to vlogging. I don't even think we said that. I'm I'll back. Link, I'll link her channel. Maybe. Just kidding. I'll link. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> there was a serious I'm debate. I'm sorry. <laughs> we all fail, but it's still tastes the same. I'm a still tastes the same. Uh -huh. Three sauces. It wasn't a thousand degrees, I'd want to get that pretzel beer cheese burger right now. Yeah, I'm like literally stuck in the brim. I don't even really know why. I think they had a whole thing of water. But Maybe you won't be hungry later, and when you get it, you can eat it in the air machine in the car. Oh, right before we leave. Little coffee bunny. Something I've never seen in my life. What? It looks it looks fun. We're home. Got more donuts to eat. Eve's very excited. I think I got sun on my run today. There too. It was great hanging out with Katie and Brian. We saw our friends Tom and Emily again. Main Street yeah. Traveler. Yeah. Check out their, their headbangs. Headbangs? <laughs> like headbangs. <laughs> Headbands. Um, Sarah has a bunch. Carolyn Earhart buys them. The Petrus is buying them. They're really good and comfortable. We'll put Jill the link down below. Them. Jill buys them. Eve buys them. Um, I'm about to feed a piece of donut to Eve, so judge me not. I'm gonna finish my episode a long way up because I'm an old man and I watch other old men want to ride motorcycles. So here's what it is, you know. I'll go more into details later, but I actually I won't. 
I fell during my run today, pretty bad, pretty nasty. And Eve keeps coming over and licking it, which I hear is a good thing. Hopefully there's no bacterial side effects, but uh, I hear that dog saliva helps heal. And she keeps coming by and like will give it like one or two licks and goes away and comes back and comes gives me a lick or two on my, on my wound. Thanks, Eve. You're the absolute greatest. So Hello, everyone. Growing Thanks. up in my family gives you a... Too loud, Prince William. Um, check out Countdown by Ted. Ted Talks. It's all about the urgency we have to do better for our planet as the global human species, not just as Europe. Or I just watched Pope Francis as Catholics. He says, all people of faith and even people of no faith but of good intention... We need to start working on this now because it's, it is an issue. So good news is we're going to watch Bly House, the new scary movie series TV show on Netflix. But the bad news is, what did I just do that I have to go pick up? Say it. Say it. Uh, you order Taco Bell. Are you happy? Yeah. When I grow up, I just want to be just like Daniel Levy. Me too. I wish I was his friend. Shit's Creek is the best show of all time. I think it might be. I said it's I have perfect. to really watch it two more times all the way through to see. Because currently, like, my preliminary is New Girl, Shit's Creek, How I Met Your Mother. But I honestly think, like, I do think Shit's Creek, I think, is better than New Girl. I just haven't invested the same amount of time. Um, somebody feed Phil is probably fourth. <laughs> but... Shit's Creek is just so good. Mm -hmm. Go and vote. Register to I was vote. Just say that. Believe in what Shit's Creek, the TV show, is stands overarching for stands for. And brings light upon, um, then you will not be voting for the Republican nominee as their stance of 2020 is to. His name is Donald Trump. <laughs> is to. Not support um, marriage, equality. marriage equality, and if you don't do that, you don't believe in Shit's Creek, and you can't take joy in it. But it's serious. It is serious. I'm glad you said it. I'm, I'm just, it's serious, and so again, make sure you register to vote. I have a plan. Um, because there's some crazy states out there that have right. like make it real difficult to vote sometimes and so. show some compassion for people who um your votes will affect mm -hmm. um now we're gonna start. <laughs> we're gonna watch scary stuff um the haunting of bly manor peter <laughs> you should have heard what you called it in today's vlog or in the vlog that posted today. i remember saying something ridiculous um but my friend brooke watched it in one complete sitting so i hope to think she's just your friend yeah, she doesn't like you. <laughs> My belly already hurts from Taco Bell. Yeah, kind of having regrets. I also feel like I'm like three really, seconds away it was from. Delicious. I think I'm three weeks away from like going very environmental. And it doesn't necessarily mean like vegan or plant based, it just means like hyper aware of like where my clothes come <clears throat> from, where our food comes from, the yeah. sources. I even put it on Twitter, I don't even know if you saw, like, and on our Facebook even, like, it makes me second guess wanting to go to theme parks. Because it's like, how much damage are these theme parks? I've seen the food waste that Electric Umbrella used to first produce. Hand. First hand. I used to have to weigh out the waste food every single day. Hundreds of pounds of food a you day just for one You did work at the busiest fast food restaurant in the country, right? I think or so. it's that or Cosmic Rays. It was the most transactions. Yeah. I think. Um, so you obviously saw bulk. But it didn't have, but like, you could have a poorly managed. That's one location. It just Disney puts World. things in perspective. Yeah. So, like, let alone, like, the constant emissions from the friendship boats. I'm going to hate on the friendship boats because you guys know I don't like them. <laughs> but, like, all of the stuff like that, like the steam engines that are currently down for the next who knows how long. But like stuff like that where it's like I thought steam is was that, good. But it's the burning of the coal that those trains do. Which is all that. It makes me like honestly think like should we not go to theme parks ever again? 
All right, we're going to watch this. this <laughs> that would be scary. like a total 360 of the Bricard Project. I know, but if that's, what the, planet, if that's what the planet needs. <laughs> right. I Like, we knew from the get that people, like, the way we lived the first two years here, majority of people could not live that way. Like, we were very lucky um, to be it's, able to take advantage of It's just like, looking that. back at it, it's like, even for us, who we could sustain it, like, we will never have that again. Like, those first two years were, like, years that we'll always look back on and be like, wow. Because in two weeks, we're going to have a baby with us forever. Forever. <laughs> Spooky time. Three hours later. Just lying on the, the windowsill. So tired. It is late. It's like, what time is it? 12? 12? 12.09. 12.09. Um, we got three episodes done? Yeah. Of Blind Matter? It's not scary yet. It's just like... Off-putting. Yeah, it's like unsettling, but like not yeah. like jumpy scenes. I mean, there's a couple, but like not even like things are just. I feel like they're it's just weird. weird. Like and like so you said unsettling, but like yeah. nothing even like too supernatural. But it's I just almost like, think that it's creepy that way because like it feels like it could happen. Right, and I'm just kind wondering like there's nine episodes, so we're a third of the way done with the show. Um. So I'm wondering if, like, in the next episode or two, like, they're doing just, like, a lot of s- character setup, and then it's going to be, like, really scary going forward. You never know. Message? Yeah, you do the message. I got a headache. Just, like, a normal headache, though, which is, like, weird for someone who gets migraines, because... What? It just it's, it feels different. Tomorrow? We're going to the beach club. Yeah, we're staying at the beach club. So we got to go to bed so we can get up and get ready and go. All right, today is October 10th, 10, 10. Today's message is by Mark Halan. If you want your story to be magnificent, begin by realizing that you are the author and every day is a new page. Booyah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.